my the military was everything that I wanted it to be that I thought it would be. My basic training was the best part of my military short career. I just fit in and I loved it. But after my training, I was uh, transferred to um, a 416 squadron in um, Chatham, New Brunswick. Shortly after my arrival there, I had a, an investigation with the SIU. So it didn't go very well my first part of my career. I was uh, accused of being uh, a suspicion of being homosexual. I had um, months of, uh, of interrogation and uh, months of um, seeing a psychologist. And uh, I did decide to keep me in the military, but I lost my top secret uh, clearance. So I spent three years in the military and two and a half years with investigations, off and on, off and on. So I had a very low self-esteem of myself. I was told the veteran affair was for veterans, and I wasn't a veteran. And uh, I was on my own. And I couldn't speak to my parents because I was ashamed. It was a bad time. It was a bad time. And uh, on the 24th of September, 1980, I was released. Um, paraded over the base to sign out. You do a sign out or a clearance. And I was told two months before that I was going to be promoted, advanced promotion. And my captain ripped the promotion, told me I was a disgrace to the uniform. And I left the base feeling like a disgrace. And I think what hurts me a lot, I don't think that the military realized the damage that they've caused us. It still affects us today. 